I spent about two hours on the car for this and this particular kind of wood is very grainy so when you get over to the flat carved areas it's very very difficult to get it flat it just feels bumpy and it's always going to and it's right where all the growth rings come together and if you take a close look you can see the grain structure makes it very difficult to sand it flat even using old school scrapers and things like that, I wasn't able to get it flat. No big deal, we'll grain fill it. But over here, oh man, just silky smooth, just fantastic. The other issue that I had during the carve was this guitar wasn't made to be a carved top and therefore our output jack hole is in the wrong location and we started to come through. And I knew that before I started the carve, but the deal is if I couldn't carve this top, it was trash. Uh, I wasn't going to use it. I wasn't going to do a flat top PRS style. It's just not in my DNA. So I'll have to design and come up with something interesting to make up for what's going on over here. But let's take a look with this neck set all the way in and I have it just sitting up on a hockey puck there. We'll put the bridge in place and sorry for the shaky cam folks and we take a straight edge. I have the neck set up as dead flat right now and as the straight edge comes across it actually hits the bridge at this point in your build you want the bottom of this straight edge to actually be just slightly above these bridge saddles so that you're going to have enough room to adjust up and down if you start out too high like this one is i'm going to put in bridge posts 
which will raise this up a little bit. And as I put strings on, I won't be able to get the bridge low enough for this guitar to play right. On a bolt-on situation, you would just shim the neck here, everything would be good. The other thing we can do is we can actually plane the back of this neck down, the neck tenon down, where it meets the bottom of this uh, mortise. And that will cause the headstock of the guitar to drop, which in effect will raise the strings here, so it will raise the bridge. Uh, I don't want to do that just yet. I want to see if I can sand the body down, make it nice so that I can have this glue in just like it was made because it fits really, really well right now. If you would like more guitar related content, click that subscribe button. If you want to follow the rest of this build, click the playlist to the right. And as always, visit skyscraperguitars.com for guitar tools and accessories.